Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. If you're new here, my name is Rachel Anita and I like to do videos about all kinds of things, productivity, career, money, everything. If you're interested in any of that, definitely check out my other videos and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite productivity app, Notion. I have used Notion for I think about two years now and I love it so much. This isn't sponsored or anything, I don't get any perks, but I love Notion, so that's why I'm sharing it with y'all today. And I feel like I've really organized it in a way that is great. And I know a lot of people have str struggle with organizing Notion, and this is, would be a good video for you. I just want to show you how I organize my Notion and how I use it for both my work and my personal life in a super useful way. You can get Notion for free using the link down in my bio. I would definitely check it out. They have paid versions, but the free version works great. Feel free to go get it and then follow along on my video. So I use the Notion desktop app on Mac. As you can see here, it's right there. Um, and I have three main categories that I use. Um, I love the desktop app because it's so easy to use. It's right there and you can pull up all that you need super quick. And I would recommend it if you get a Notion. So um, I have three main categories that you can see here. I have home, CC, which is my job, and then Digi and Rachel Anita, which is a new page that I developed a few days ago, and I will show you that at the end. If you're a student, this might look like home or personal and studying or work or whatever, but mine, I like to do home, and which is my personal stuff, and then CC, which is my job. So now let's go through home and what that looks like. So when you click home, this is what pops up. I love Notion because you're able to customize it. I love a pretty productivity tool. I think it, I want to use it so much more when it's aesthetically pleasing. And so you can choose a header and choose a cover. And you, there's so many different options, but you can also upload your own, which is great. And so I have home. I don't know why this is here. But um, again, I like to decorate it, make it look pretty. So I have my personal section here as my calendar, YouTube, vacation, my fatigue journal, my five year plan. So when you click on this little arrow next to home, all your little pages underneath home will pop up. They're also right here for me. I, li I like that, but I'll usually use the sidebar. So the first thing I have is my personal calendar. I love Notion because of the calendar section. I know that you can create an iCal and whatever, whatever, but I like this so much better because of the detail you're able to go into um, in each of the little sections. So this is my November calendar. And I'll just show you kind of quickly. So I have my YouTube stuff on here. I have health things. I have personal things. Um, like, as you can see here, um, I had a I had to post a work from home video and I wanted to film another video. Um, I have my CVS vaccine as well. And the thing I like about this is you're able to pick icons. So I picked a little syringe there. And you just put the time, the date. You're able to tag it as health. You're able to also select whether it's like, you, you can choose a status or make it incomplete or complete. I love saying the little complete on little things that I make because it's my favorite. I have today's videos here as well. So record Notion app. And the thing I like about this is that you're able to select the date and you can choose a due date as well. And it will remind you on your phone. It'll like send you an alert like, hey, like you need to remember to do this. Um, and then you can create tags again. I have personal, influencing, household, health, and again, the status, incomplete. So once I finish recording this, or I'm gonna mark it complete now because I am recording this video. Complete, and delete, incomplete. And I literally can write my script in here. So I have my full script in here, as you can tell, and my script really helps me because I have ADHD. And also maybe why I like Notion so much is because I have ADHD, but again, you're able to do so much with the calendar um, and they can send you reminders and everything like that. So I also recorded another video earlier, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. I'm going to mark this as complete as well because I've recorded it. And yeah. Uh, and then tomorrow I plan to post this video, so hopefully you're watching this the day after I posted it. Um, I put my volunteering on here. I put just about everything in here, including my travel. So I just added these today. I'm gonna do more with them here, but I leave for England on the 21st of December. So I put that as well. I choose a cute little icon. I will put like in the place where I wrote my script last time, I'm gonna put all my detailed information, like my confirmation number, what time I leave. I'm gonna create a um, 
file and media and I'm gonna link boarding pass as well so that it's so much easier than just like rifling through your email looking for you know the Delta boarding whatever and the confirmation number and it's so hard when you can just open your notion app and you know exactly where to go to find everything that you need for your flight you know I would put my hotel information in here hotel confirmation codes um, you know routes to get to the hotel things like that so this is really helpful in consolidating information instead of using like five different apps to do it. So you can do it all in one. Um, so yeah, that's my calendar. Now we'll check out YouTube. So YouTube is really, is all my YouTube stuff. Like I, I like to organize what I'm doing. So I, my video section is pretty messy. It's like video ideas and completed videos, which isn't that exciting. I'll show you my brand partnerships. I really like how I designed this page. So these are brand partnerships recently. Um, so as you'll know, I work closely with Ana Luisa. I'm wearing all Ana Luisa. Um, and you can keep track of that, like brand partnerships or you can keep track of projects, keep track of you know, schoolwork, keep track of work that you do, just like really anything. Glamnetic, um, I just completed a sponsorship with Glamnetic um, and I submitted and completed it. So I love that you were able to update the status as well. I gave them a YouTube mention and an Instagram story and um, I included my discount code here. I included all the briefs. So instead of rifling through my email looking for these documents because there's like a big thread of emails with Glamnetic, um, I'm able to have all the information I need here. And what I love about Notion is that you can connect different pages to each other. So let's go back to my calendar and I'll show you how that works. So let's go to my calendar and let's say I'm looking at my calendar and I'm like, oh, I have to film my Glamnetic video today. Let's do that. So I'll click this and see what I wrote in here. And you can, so like I can add a link like at, and then you can add a page in there. So Glamnetic. So that's what I did here. And when you click it, it'll open the page on the next section just automatically. And you can go back as well to the calendar. So that's something I love about Notion as well, just the way that you're able to organize things so easily. So let's talk about my vacation section. So this is my vacation section. It's right under the YouTube section. And I typically put all my vacation stuff here, just any upcoming vacations. I love to make itineraries on Canva. I'll like show you an image of one here actually because I'm really extra with it. But um, I'll typically drop those itineraries into this section so you're able to like highlight some words and then there's all these options you can bold it you can add a comment you can turn it into a page you can um, do all kinds of things so what we're going to do with this one is create a link to a page so we're going to call it east coast trip and then it'll create a new page and you're able to click it and then add your itinerary or whatever you like but it's all categorized and then when you click it, it'll take you to all the other information. So for example, I'm going on a UTK trip. I have yet to make my itinerary for this, but maybe it'll be in here and I'll see the queen at 8 p.m. And this is all there. So I can just open my Notion app and I'm like, what's next? I forgot what the name of the re restaurant that we're going to is called. And I'll just open my Notion app, look at my itinerary really quickly and know where I'm going. Um, I also have health reasons, I or health sections, like a fatigue journal. I was dealing with a lot of heavy fatigue. Turns out it was ADHD. But uh, for a long time, I was tracking my how I was feeling every day and what was going on there. Now, let's go to the work section. So I want to show you how I organize my work section. So first, we'll click CC, and it'll take you to the homepage, just like the home's homepage. And here you see... Um, Kind of like of the vibe you know like i work in progressive politics so everyone's shouting and voting and picketing and stuff so i put like a little thing there to kind of remind me the vibe i'm trying to give off which is let's get change in this government and in this world and so here i have a similar situation going on i have all of my meetings here on the left so all of the big weekly meetings that i have i'll put them here um and that makes it super easy to access because when I want to like, okay, I'm going to my digital meeting now, I'll open my notion and just click digital and I can start taking notes there. If I'm going to my reinvestment meeting, I just open reinvestment and I can start taking notes. If I'm going to a meeting with my boss, I know I can just click that and there we are. Okay. And I, that's where I know all of my notes live because I know so many of us, so many of us are creating Google Drive documents for uh, 
every meeting and then not finding the notes ever again. Um, I like to put daily reminders there as well just to remind myself who I am and you know what kind of way I want to be um, acting at work and sticking to my values. Something also that's super helpful is this document section that I created. So I'll routinely update this with the documents that are most important to me during this time period and these are the ones that are currently the most important to me. I know my team really struggles with Google Drive because we're always all creating folders and we need each other's folders and we need each other's documents and then we can't find the documents and then I'm in Google Drive looking up template and then 50 million templates come up because it's my entire company's organization's templates pop up, everyone's templates pop up and then I can't find my template. But if I have Notion, I can just drop my favorite links here and I know exactly where to go when someone requests something. It's a game changer. I'm actually trying to get my team to buy Notion for the teams. Um, and then down below is one of my favorite sections, which is my weekly to-do list. So right underneath, I have everything that I have to do for the week. Um, so on Monday, I'll come in and start writing things that I need. So, okay, I need to add Facebook groups to my brag sheet. I need to add email PDFs to Simon's document. I need to draft, draft Stacy email, blah, 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 blah. And then I know if like I have something to do on Wednesday, I'll do that. If I know I have something to do on Friday, I'll do that. I'll put that in there. And then I'm able to check off things that I want to check off. And again, I don't have to go looking anywhere. It's right underneath my homepage. So that's something I love about this app. I, this is one of my favorite sections and yeah, again, it's great. So I wanna show you one more thing in my work section. So this is basically how I use it. Again, I take all my notes in these meeting sections right here, um, but I wanna show you my digital section as well because I have my social media calendar and my events calendar here as well as a to-do list. Now, the social media calendar and the event calendar are very similar to the personal calendar. They look the same, but they have different content. So for social media calendar, um, I'll just click that and it'll have all the things that have to go out. Um, so every week on Wednesdays, I send a SMS, a broadcast SMS, like the annoying ones that you get from like people being like, take action now. And you're like, how did you get my phone number? Just so you know, you gave it to us, by the way. Um, and then you signed a little petition and you were like, yeah, you can text me. But then you don't remember that because the font's really small. <laughs> but anyway. So I'll include my text, I'll include what emails I need to send out, and even in here, so our email program is currently frozen. Hopefully once it opens up, I plan to write all my drafts here and share them with my colleagues who are gonna be editing and then they can add comments, um, and it's really great. So again, I use the same sections, I use tags, so email advocacy, uh, different cohorts, SMS, um, whether it's relational organizing or different things. I have a due date there. Um, and again, you can add a timer or a reminder to do this thing. Because I know you forget things. And you're able to, so I send emails out to a specific list. So I'm able to put what list I'm sending it to as well. Um, and then status, again, not started, in progress, complete. And this again is so helpful. And I love having this as an option for productivity in my life. Um, okay, so that's how I organize my digital. I also have the to-do list. So I've mentioned like there's a lot of productivity apps. There's Asana, there's Basecamp, there's just a ton of things. So, so we all know the productivity apps like Asana and Basecamp and things. Well, Asana, I mean, Notion has an Asana in it, as you can see here. So this is in my to-do section. I'm still kind of testing it out and seeing if I want to use it. Um, I did like Asana, but it's easier to use when you have like a team. Um, and my team's not on this yet, but I'm getting, getting them on it soon. But yeah, you can select like not started, next up, in progress, and you can move things to completed. And I know things feel so good when they're completed. Um, but yeah, that's my work section. Now I want to show you my last section, which is brand new. I'm trying to build a website um, because I'm thinking of when I moved to England, they don't pay very much for my type of work. Um, they pay a lot more in the US, so I'm hoping to do digital consulting. And so I kind of need to start working on that, especially if we want to move in the next few years. So I built a website. Um, this isn't supposed to be there. I'm going to move that. But if you can make a really cute little website, I'm still kind of I'm gonna move change this cover, but you can put like a title page, you can put buttons so that people can click, you can have an about me, you can have a digital skill set section, you can add a little like thing that collects emails and lets people email you. 
So this is great for um, yeah, creating your own website. And you can actually make this live. You don't even have to pay for a domain. I probably will just to make the link prettier, but you can make this public on the internet by clicking share to web and then copying this link. Now, anyone who wants to go to your website, you can just give them this link and it will automatically populate on the internet. And as you make changes to it, it'll automatically update online as well. So this is a full on website, y'all. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. But yeah, you can, um, it will say open notion here. You can also duplicate it, which is really cool. So someone like you, if you want to build a website and you like my template, you could just rebuild it. But yeah, love this thing. I can't wait to use it more and I'm so excited about it. I'm probably going to do some like YouTube influencing things on here as well. But yeah, um, that's how I use Notion. Now I'll show you a few more, th more things. So a lot of people feel overwhelmed when they get Notion for the first time. Thankfully, Notion makes it easy by providing templates. So if you click templates here and you're, let's say, a student, so you could have a class notes page that looks like this. So again, you would have the class, the type, the materials. You will put, you can put like a page here, which you would click and then it would take you to a page where you can put your notes. So that's an example. You can put, a, there's a grade calculator, which is really cool. Um, and ooh, this person's doing pretty well. Um, there's a reading list. There's even like a roommate space. So like rent, internet and tech, you can put the Wi-Fi name, you can put the password. There's rules, you can put a calendar so that you and your roommates don't clash on when you can have like events and things. So that's some of the examples of um, what you can do as a student. Um, for personal, again, there's personal home, so there's daily life. I think I adapted um, my uh, five-year plan off of this template here. Um, there's a travel planner, which is another cool thing. I don't work really well with charts, so that's why none of mine look like charts. But this is another good way to use a travel planner. You can put a packing list link. You can, again, put uh, links to the information, location, San Francisco, etc. Um, you can do a habit tracker, job applications, just tons of things. Um, and not just for personal reasons, like you can use this for product management. Um, this, here's the Asana copy. And again, you, if you have teammates, you can, everyone gets a little icon and you can share it with people, which we love. And sales again. So you can have like a sales CRM and things like that. So again, these templates make it super helpful. Um, and let's look at the settings because we'll look at the plans and we can take a look at the options for y'all. Um, so I'm currently paying a little bit, I think. I play the personal, I pay the personal pro um, for $4 per month. I forget why, let's see. Oh, it has the same stuff as this, maybe it'll downgrade. Oh no, it has unlimited file uploads. So if you're like gonna be uploading a lot, like I do for work, um, then I will put file uploads. But I use the personal for a long time. And then I'm trying to get my job to do this as well because it's very cheap. But yeah, again, um, that's Notion and but yeah, so that's Notion, and I just really wanted to show you it because I know it can be overwhelming for a lot of people, but it's now a lifesaver for me. Let me know if you're interested in like me publishing these somewhere so that you can duplicate them. I'm not sure if people would actually be interested in that, so leave that down in the comments if you are. Um, but again, I love to do videos about productivity, my career, my life, just really anything, and so make sure to like and comment and subscribe as it really helps me out, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.